Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So we are going over all my Sephora VIB sale haul today. It was so funny. I literally was like, I didn't even buy anything like the first day of the sale. I was like, I don't need anything. There's nothing that I want, but I don't know what happened guys because I'm sitting here staring at a bunch of products. So I'm just going to jump into it. If you want to see what I picked up from the Sephora sale, then just keep on watching. Okay, I'm going to start off with this guy right here. This is the Tom Ford, the Resort to Pleasure, the Bronzing Primer. This I was really intrigued by because my face is always more pale than my body. I self tan my body, but I really never self tan my face. I just kind of rely on like foundations or a tinted moisturizer to even everything out. So this I was really intrigued by because it is like a bronzing primer and it's Tom Ford. So I thought it might be really good to kind of just give my skin a little bit of extra color just to kind of even things out a little bit. And it really does. So I think it's perfect. And this thing is kind of, oh yeah, you got twisted up like this. And then I'll show you guys like what it looks like. So it's an awesome primer. It like smooths your skin, but then it does kind of give like a really just like nice light color to your skin. So it really helps to even out the color for myself tan and then my face. And then I put my foundation over top and it just kind of helps everything bronze up a little bit for the summertime. So I really, really am liking this. I've worn this a couple times now. It is awesome. It feels good on the skin. And like I said, it's an awesome primer, but then you also get that like hint of bronze color too. So I love that. So then I picked up this primer and this one, I don't know why I've just kind of been like into trying new primers lately, but this is the Algenis, the primer. Prime Illuminate Correct. It's the Reveal Color Correcting Radiant Primer. So I guess the big thing right now is color correcting. So everybody in the world is coming out with like color correcting products. I don't really ever color correct. I don't think it's really necessary. If you are just like an everyday person, I don't think color correcting is such a necessity. If you're on TV or a movie or something like that, maybe color correcting is like more beneficial. But for like everyday life, I just really don't see the point in color correcting. But this is like really awesome because it's just more of like an illumination. It kind of gives your skin a really pretty glow and that's what I wanted to try and that's what it does. So I've been loving this as well. This is a great primer. It just comes out kind of as like a white lotion-y serum and it has like just really like illuminating glowing properties to it. I love the way it feels on my skin. It doesn't feel like a primer. It's not silicone based. Like it feels like skincare. So you know, that is what I love. I love that feel and it just gives your skin a glow. So I've been loving this, like really, really loving this primer. So that is the reveal color correcting radiant primer. As for the color correcting part, I don't see any color correcting. Like I don't see it doing anything to my skin. It just gives your skin a really pretty glow, but that is what I love about that. So I've been using that. And then I picked up two of my brow Wiz pencils that you guys know I'm addicted to. I picked it up in caramel and the shade taupe because I use both those colors when I do my brows. Now today I actually used a brow powder and just a tiny bit of brow pencil. So I've kind of just been doing different things, but these are the two main colors that I like cannot live without. So I got a backup of those. So you guys know I have been completely addicted to my Chanel La Volume de Chanel mascara. I've used it now literally for the past like six months and nothing else. But recently I feel like it's not been doing as well for me anymore. I feel like it's been making my eyelashes more clumpy and I feel like that happens to me all the time with mascara. I was talking to you guys about that on Snapchat because I feel like every time I use a mascara for a long period of time, like all of a sudden it starts not working as well for me. Does that happen to anybody else? Like I swear, it's just like my eyelashes need a change and I need to switch things up. So I ended up getting the Marc Jacobs, the Velvet Noir, the Major Volume Mascara. I've been using like a little sample of it from Sephora and I really really like it. The brush is really good. It's like a bigger wand size brush. So I've been really liking it. I've had no issues with it. I feel like it's a really good mascara. So I'm going to switch up from my Chanel and I'm going to start using this one for a while and see if I can go back to my Chanel then because I love that Chanel so much. I definitely want to go back to it, but I'm going to switch it up to this for now and see if my eyelashes kind of just need that change. I swear. Is it me? My eyelashes are weird. I don't know, but I need to switch it up. So I'm going to try that. And then I picked up the Tarte, the lip paint. This is in the shade Namaste. And this is really a good liquid lipstick. You guys, I wore this the other day. I've never tried, like, I don't have a lot of Tarte products. They're not like a brand that I really am drawn to or that I like like a ton of their stuff. 
But this I wanted to try because I heard some good things about their liquid lipsticks. And this color, you guys, oh, it's to die for. Look at this color, you guys. It is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's like the perfect everyday color. And I have to agree with the reviews on these. These liquid lipsticks are really nice on the lips. They're not overly drying. They lasted a long time on my lips. And I just am obsessed with this color. So definitely check that out. That is in the shade No Most. It's good. I picked up another beauty blender solid cleanser. This is what I use to clean my beauty blenders and my brushes all the time. It's just like a little soap kind of thing in there, but it really cleans everything really well. And I'm almost out of the one I'm using now. It's got just like a tiny little rim of it left. So I picked that up. Hey guys, I went a little crazy with these new Burberry. These are the Full Kisses lipsticks. These just came out and I've literally been waiting for these. I saw someone on Instagram. I forget who it was that showed these like months back saying that these were coming out for the spring and summer and I was like oh my gosh these look so good so I ended up picking up four shades during the sale I'm wearing one of them today the one I'm wearing right now is nude blush these are so pretty you guys they come in these like pencil kind of like well they're in these like really nice like gunmetal style cases and then they are like a lipstick like that so you can see it's kind of like a perfect shape for your lips so they're like a full coverage like smoothing lipstick and they really do they make your lips looks really smooth they kind of like cancel out the lines on your lips and just smooth everything out they are amazing so I ended up picking up two shades and then completely fell in love and then went back and got two more shades but this shade is the color I have on now that is in blush nude oh it's so gorgeous you guys and then this is nude right here that is the perfect beige nude like look at the pigmentation they're so creamy you guys but like not a bad creamy where it slides off your lips. Like the formula is perfect. So blush nude and nude. And then this is the shade English Rose. This one is like more of a kind of like mauve pink nude. So gorgeous, you guys. I am completely in love with these. That one right there is English Rose right there. And then one last one to go. This is Cherry Blossom. This is kind of like more of a brighter pink, like perfect spring pink. There is Cherry Blossom right there. You can see it's a brighter pink. So we have Cherry Blossom, we have Blush Nude, we have Nude, and then we have English Rose on the end. The formula of these are awesome, guys. I definitely recommend these. You will become hooked like me. You will want every color. They are amazing. And that's another thing. They do come in like a ton of colors. So I love these. All right, I did pick up a one more Tom Ford lipstick like I told you guys I was going to. This is the Ultra Rich Lip Color. I showed you guys I have his nude shade in the Revolve Around Me shade. This is in the shade La Mempris. And this is gonna be such a pretty color. Oh my gosh, it kinda looks like my nails. This is gonna be such a pretty color for the spring. This is gonna be one of those colors that just livens up your skin and your face. Like, look at that. It's kind of like a, kind of like corally red shade. Like, it is stunning. So I kinda feel like I have to do like a spring tutorial with this lipstick because how perfect of a spring color is that? I'm kind of feeling a spring tutorial coming up with this lipstick. Let me know if that sounds like a good idea, but I'm thinking so. Okay, guys, then I picked up two of those new Viseart little travel size palettes. Oh my gosh, these are so amazing. I did not even see these on the website until like, it was like the second to last day of the sale. I was just kind of looking around and I saw these. I was like, oh my gosh, there is something that I absolutely need. I've been dying to get my hands on these. So I picked up two out of the four. This one is in the shade, I forget which one this is. Hold on, this is cashmere. They kind of just like open up. They're really cute how they open up like this. This is what I have on my eyes today, guys, and I am so in love. Look at these colors. That's what I have on my eyes today. It is so beautiful. They blend, I feel like these blend even better than the other palettes of the Viseart. Like these are amazing. They are so good. The quality of these is, I swear, like nothing else. Look at the color of those shadows. Oh my God, they're so perfect. So there they are swatched on my hand. That's the full six colors in the cashmere. And I can tell you guys, oh my gosh, you need to get this. This is something you need in your life so bad, like right now. And then the second one of these little palettes that I got, this is in the shade Chroma. Look at this, you guys. These are more of like the gray and like cool tones. So here is the Chroma palette up close. Another gorgeous set of colors. Okay, those are the six colors in the Chroma palette. So gorgeous. You can see that they're just so pretty. These are gonna make the perfect smoky eye. So these little cute palettes, as you can tell, I'm completely in love with. I highly, highly, highly recommend these. 
They are so awesome, like with pigmentation and they blend and they're not like, they don't over like do fallout. They are just like the perfect eyeshadows. And I feel like these little six palettes are like even better quality than their other palettes. Like these are outstanding. And you guys know how obsessed I am with their other palettes. Like these are amazing. So Chroma and Cashmere are the two I got and I just could not recommend them more. They are amazing. Okay, and last here, I picked up this, which I'm really curious about. It's the Sephora I Love Cushion bronzer you guys know how I love cream and like liquid and gel type bronzers so I was really intrigued by the Sephora brand one it's like a little cushion compact and then it has the bronzer in it so you can see it's like a little cushion like it looks kind of cute dab my finger in here and then hmm, that's actually a really pretty color I haven't used this yet I literally just got this and that looks like it could be a really good bronzer shade. So hoping this will work, I will test this out. Maybe I'll even do like a full review on this. Let me know if you wanna see like a review and demo on this, kind of like a first impression, see how it works. Let me know, because this could be an interesting product and it was not expensive like at all. So this could be really good. Let me know if you want like a full review on this. So that is everything I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale. Like I said, it was so funny. I literally went into that sale thinking, I don't need anything. There's nothing I even want. Maybe I'll pick up some like backups of my brow wiz. That's literally what I was saying to myself at the beginning of the sale. And then, and then this happened. I don't know what happened. I don't know where all these products came from. I'm just going to leave it at that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much. Let me know if you guys have picked up any of the same stuff that I did. Let me know if you want to see demos or reviews or tutorials using all this stuff. Let me know down in the comments. But please subscribe if you are not already subscribed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.